save you all. I'm back. I was talking in a prior video about this dude who I work with that I call Frank. That's not his real name. I had mentioned in that prior video that I think Frank has a problem with answering to women because what happens is that in my place of employment, the boss is a woman and uh, she happens to be a black woman. The reason why I think that Frank has a problem with answering to her is because almost every day he comes complaining to me about this this particular person saying that she screams at him, she yells at him, she uh, tells him that he's not doing enough, he's not working efficiently, she's not satisfied with his performance, and so he talks about her behind her back to me and probably to other people, and it got so bad that I started to feel like he was becoming obsessed with this woman. I had made up I made up in my mind that the next time he came to me and said anything about this woman that I would start singing that song from this movie called Coming to America. She's your queen to be. That's how often he came to me talking about her. So, alright, getting back on track. The reason why I think he has a problem with the fact that he has to answer to a woman is because he gets yelled at by male supervisors as well, but he doesn't talk about them half as much as he talks about this woman. He also makes reference to her sexuality or what he think her sexuality may be. The first time he talked about it, I laughed it off because it's probably something that I would say too. You know, he can't he said something to the effect that she needs a man. And you know, I kind of brush it off because it's something that I would say too and I could vouch for the fact that she is a little bossy and blunt because sometimes I, I get irritated. She's never personally yelled at me or disrespected me. But sometimes I get irritated when she comes down on our end of the facility and starts with the yelling. So I can kind of, under, you know, understand things from his perspective. But, you know, he doesn't talk about when the male supervisors yell at him or may talk to him in a condescending fashion. So, and then he also makes references to his suspicion that she may be a lesbian because he talks about her being a butch and being a dyke. And I'm like this here. Whatever anybody does in their personal life or their bedroom is their business. I have nothing to do with that. And that actually has nothing to do with the job or a person's job performance. So why bring that up? You know, he also talks about how she behaves, she acts. I'm going to use air quotes for acts like a man. She does behave in a masculine way. As far as the way that she walks and her disposition, she, you know, doesn't really display any real feminine traits. But then in the same breath, who says that she, she has to behave femininely and maybe she behaves in a masculine, strong and authoritative way in order to be taken seriously. Or maybe that's just the way she is. Who knows? But my suggestion to him is that he go to, instead of complaining about her, go to her and have a private 
and frank conversation about the way that she speaks to him. I suggested that he be honest and let her know, hey, you know, I don't like the way you're talking to me. You need to tone it down a bit and show some respect. And when I suggested that to him, he was like, you know, I told him, you know, you don't need to curse at her. Just let her know. Don't talk to you like you're talk down to you like you're a child. And he was like, oh, well, I will curse at her. And I was like, yeah, yeah right, whatever. You're going to just continue to complain about her behind her back because you feel more comfortable doing that. But, uh, yeah, some men feel that having to answer to a woman somehow diminishes their manhood or their masculinity to have to submit to a, a woman's authority. It must really get up underneath his skin and grate at his soul and his spirit to have to answer to a woman and to have a woman possess that much control and dominance over his life, at least at that company. Some men have very outdated notions and expectations of how a woman is supposed to behave. Some men believe that a woman is supposed to be completely submissive, docile, passive, cooperative, and just totally sweet. Of course, that's not how life really works. Some women are just outright raucous and obnoxious and completely the opposite of the way that most people would expect a woman to be. Even in this modern society. I mean, if he's living his life thinking that a woman is going to be the way that he believes she should be, he's going to his <laughs> he's going to be in for a lot of disappointment. Another thing that I forgot to mention in that first video that I uploaded about Frank and um the toxic male co-worker is that I don't like it when men use that B word to refer to women excessively. That's outright disrespect. And especially when he's speaking to another woman. I got the impression that it's... He was talking to me like I was one of the guys. Like in his mind, I'm one of the guys. Kind of almost like he believes that it's normal to refer to a woman as a bitch. You know, in some people's mind, the word bitch is, is harmless. But obviously, when he used the word bitch, in the context of the way that he was using the word, obviously it wasn't complimentary. You know, I just don't like it when a man uses that word too often. I'm, some women do have to have developed a reputation for being mean and nasty. And I guess rightfully they should be called and referred to as bitches. I lose respect for a man that uses that word too often. And certainly I'm not going to join in and throw another woman up under the bus in support of a man just because he has issues with her. That's an issue that needs to be kept between him and the woman that he has a problem with. And I don't think he needs to be bringing other people into his discussion. You know, people who aren't involved. And I've never had any problem with her, so there's no way I'm going to co-sign on him calling her a bitch. This dude is in his 50s, and the way I see it is that he should have enough maturity and sense 
to have an adult discussion with this woman that he has an issue with. Instead of going behind her back and talking about her to other people and calling her a bitch. And also talking about her gossiping about her sexual preference. What does her sexual preference and her gender have to do with anything? have to do with anything if she's coming at him out of pocket she needs to be corrected and that's the bottom line I mean that's regardless of what her gender is if it was a male coming to him out of pocket he should be corrected as well this man has even made comments about how he doesn't like the way that the dykes talk to men and that's part of the reason why I think he has a problem with women having authority over him